Hello, our dear viewer. Thank you for taking the time to follow the live link of the Sunday service from the House of Bread Life Celebration Center International that is located in Nairobi, Kenya, East Africa. It is our prayer this day that as you listen to this message, may the Holy Spirit speak to you. May you give your heart to the Lord and whatever you desire from God, be it a miracle, a healing, or a breakthrough, may the Lord grant it to you. On behalf of the senior pastor, Bishop Dr. Mark and Reverend Joyce Karaoke, I welcome you to the Sunday service right now. Enjoy and be blessed.
you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, the glory. We praise you, Jesus. We exalt you, Lord. There is no one like you, Jesus. We lift you, name on the We exalt you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, let us praise the Lord. Yay! In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Moyo wangu sifubwana sifubwana siku zote haleluya
Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hosanna in the highest. You are lifted up. Hosanna, you are lifted up. Hosanna, you are lifted up. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are lifted up. You are lifted up. You are lifted up.
unto you. You alone is mighty. You alone is worthy. You alone is able. You alone is everlasting. What a mighty God you are. What a mighty God you are. We exalt you, King of kings. Thank you for a moment in your presence, O oh Lord. We know the Lord moments like this, moments like this. Our lives are never the same again. Our lives are never the same again. Every time we tarry in your presence, O oh Lord, our lives are never the same again. Our discouragement are taken away. Our sorrows are taken away. Our weaknesses are taken away. Even as you stretch your Holy Ghost, you stretch by the power of the Holy Ghost and minister unto each one of us. Father, we thank you and we honor you. Receive all the glory, receive all the honor. We thank you and we bless you. Thank you, dear Lord. Thank you, dear Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, dear Lord. Thank you, Lord. you are a great God. Yes, Please, I request us to have our seats as we intercede for our nation, as we intercede for our motherland, as we intercede for the body of Christ. Let us have our, our seats in the presence of the Lord. We are serving a faithful God. We are serving a faithful God. Precious Father, in the name of your Son, we want to thank you. We want to thank you today for a privilege that we are called your children. Behold what, a man, what manner of love, what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us through that. We shall be called the sons of God. Sons who have every right to approach you. Sons who have every right to come before you. Just as your word, just as your word says, that we should come boldly before your throne of grace. That you may find grace, that we may obtain grace, that we may find mercy to help us in our time of need. As a command of your word, we unite together in one faith presenting our motherland Kenya before you. We present our country before you, Jehovah. We present our nation before you, mighty Redeemer. Thank you because you are a God in this land. Thank you because we worship you in this land. You alone is God over Kenya. You alone is God over Kenya. We thank you because, Lord, in all circumstances, in all circumstances, Jehovah, you have been on our side. In all situations, righteous Father, you have been on our side. And so we pray the Lord, we pray the Lord, you may continue to reign in this land, my Father. We commit all our borders before you. We present our frontiers before you, praying that Jehovah, praying that Jehovah, your blessings shall be found within our borders. Praying for Jehovah, your righteousness shall be found within our borders. Your word says that righteousness exalts a nation. And so, Jehovah Lord, 
We pray that your righteousness, as your righteousness reigns in this country, we shall be exalted, O oh Father. We shall be exalted, O oh Jehovah. We want to thank you for the minerals, natural resources that are being discovered within our borders. We want to thank you for your peace that is reigning within our borders. We want to thank you for even our leaders, the president that you have given unto us for a time such as this. We want to thank you for the deputy president. We want to thank you for the entire of his cabinet. Thank you for every man and every woman who is occupying a position of influence in this land. All of them, Lord, we present them unto you. We present them unto you, my Father, praying that you will continue to guide and to control them by the power of your Holy Spirit. Praying the Lord you will release upon them the wisdom that comes from above, the wisdom that comes from heaven. But as they spearhead the development agenda of this nation, you shall be good to them, my Father. We pray for their families, O oh Lord, that you shall heal and minister to them. You shall come through for them, O oh Lord. You shall comfort and strengthen them all the time. We thank you and we bless you because you are a God who hears and answers prayer. On the same line, our God, we pray for the body of Christ, both locally and universally. We pray for the move of the Holy Spirit in the midst of your people. Wherever the people who are called by your name are covering this morning, my Father and my God, I pray that you will visit them by the power of your Holy Ghost. May the Spirit of the living God move in the midst of your people. That as we worship you, O oh Lord, that as we lift up our hearts and our voices to worship you, our worship shall be acceptable before you. Our sacrifices shall be acceptable before you. We thank you and we bless you for your word. It says that you shall build your church upon the rock and the gates of hell shall not prevail. And so, Lord, we decree and declare that your church is walking in victory. We decree and declare that your church is blessed. We decree and declare that your church is walking in power and authority. We decree and declare that your church is walking in the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Father, we thank you and we bless you because you have saved us for a purpose. We pray that you will enable each one of us who belong unto you to fulfill your purposes in our generation. Father, I want to thank you for deliverance, Church Kenya, and international, and especially our father, Bishop Dr. Makariuki, and his lovely wife, Reverend Joyce. Well, my father and my God, these are vessels in your hands. These are vessels that you have appointed for a time such as this. As your people, we pray that the oil of your Holy Ghost will increase upon their lives that the anointing of God will increase upon their lives. That my Father and my God, wherever Bishop Makariuki will stand up to declare your word, your word shall come out of his mouth with such a power, with such an anointing, that the enemy shall not be able to withstand. We want to thank you for the entire leadership of this great ministry. Thank you for all our bishops. Thank you for all our pastors. Thank you for the entire membership of this great ministry, wherever they are. We bring them before you, Lord. And also for us at the Deliverance Church House of Bread, we come before you, waiting upon you, Lord, waiting upon you. May you renew our strength, O Jehovah. As we sit in your presence today, as we listen from you, Jehovah, may you speak unto us with power and with clarity that your people will find a hope and a future. We thank you because this far you have been our God. We have every reason to give you praise. We have every reason to celebrate you, Lord. We have every reason to celebrate you, our God. We have every reason to celebrate you, our Father. We have every reason to celebrate you, King of Kings. Receive all the honor, receive all the adoration. We thank you and we honor you. May each one of us in the house today be strengthened in you. May each one of us in the house today receive a testimony from you. We thank God we bless you. 
What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God you are. Receive all the glory, receive all the honor. In Jesus' mighty name we pray and believe. Amen, amen. Amen, amen, amen. Let us be upstanding, please. Let us be upstanding. Let us be upstanding and give. Put our hands together for the Lord. Let us put our hands together for the Lord. Let us put our hands together for the Lord. Let us put our hands together for the Lord. As we welcome our pastor, as we welcome our pastor, Reverend Dan Junior Kariuki, to lead us from here onwards. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, sir. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Tusalimiane ya karibu na binguni. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Greet your neighbor on the left and the right. Tell them it's good to see you in the house. Welcome into this service, our second service. As the media gives us bringing in the sheaves on the screen. Bwana asifiwe sana. We want to sing a number and then we keep moving. Bringing in the sheaves, bringing in the sheaves. We shall come rejoicing, bringing in the sheaves, bringing in the sheaves, bringing in the sheaves. We shall come rejoicing, bringing in the sheaves. So we need the morning, so we see the kindness, so we need. I'm rejoicing, bringing in the sheep, bringing in the sheep, bringing in the sheep. We shall come rejoicing, bringing in the sheep. Hallelujah, bringing in the sheep, bringing in the sheep. We shall come rejoicing, bringing in the sheep. So we need the sunshine, so we need the shadows. Nairobi, 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 oh! Nairobi, 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 oh! Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. Release my inheritance. Release my inheritance. Release my blessing. Release my blessing. Release my promotion. Release my promotion. Open all my doors. Open all my doors. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Kenya, Kenya, oh Kenya. Kenya, Kenya, oh Kenya. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. Release every opportunity. Release every opportunity. Release every 
promotion. Release every promotion. Release every blessing. Release every blessing. Prepared for me. Prepared for me. By my Father. By my Father. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I shall rise to the top. I shall rise to the top. I shall be celebrated. I shall be celebrated. I shall be celebrated. I shall be celebrated. The gift in me is rising up. The gift in me is rising up. And my life, and my life will never, will never, ever, ever be the same again. Be the same again. Now shout it like you believe it. And my life, and my life will never, will never, ever, ever. The same again. Be the same again. If you believe that, lift your hands up and give Jesus a clap of praise. Amen. Amen. Thank you. You may be seated. Bwana Sipiwe, Karibuni. Welcome to our second service. Karibuni kwa ibada ya pili. This is our second service at the House of Bread. And we are happy that you are able to come. Ah, blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. You know we are used to be services in Achelewa. Sasa ukichelewa, ukitoka home kama umechelewa, unapata tumeenda sana because for the last three Sundays, we have not been getting late. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. So, uh, and we are hoping the trend will continue that way even when the owners return. Amen. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. It is good to see each one of you. We had a wonderful Kesha in Men's Kesha in Nakuru on Friday. And we had a lot of men from all over Kenya showing up. We were, we had, I think, it was more, we had, we had more than 3,000 men who came for that. Yes, a reason to celebrate. So, uh, Kesha's, uh, the Kesha in Nakuru was uh, very good and tremendously good. So we, were, we, we, we thank the Lord for a good thing that he is doing in our nation and, and in the men's ministry. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Our bishop, uh, those who were in the first service last Sunday and now you are here, I told you that our bishop will be back. And true enough, last week on Thursday, as day he came back together with mom Joyce. Amen, amen. God granted them safe journey masses and they were able to return home safe and sound. But today they had another mission, that's why they are not with us this day. But you can be sure next Sunday they will be here with us. These two seats have been empty for a while. We need to call them from wherever they are and tell them return by fire in Jesus' name. Amen. So our, pa our pastor, our prophet, and our mom shall be, will be here with us next Sunday. And we'll be, you will be here to receive them also. Thank you. Asante. You know, I told you when he comes, he will say, I have missed you like this. So, you are also ready, you are supposed to be there to respond. We, are so, we have also missed you like this. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. But let's continue praying for them. Uh, and uh, even as, uh, as they also pray for us. Amen. But my brother is here. And my sister is also here. Are they there? Come, kuja, kuja. For those who think I don't have a brother and a sister, because you see, you, you, you always see me standing here alone. Uh, I was not born alone in that family. I hear some of you are here. Kumbona kuwa na brother. Kumbona kuwa na sister. Let's appreciate my sister and my brother <laughs> even as they come. Amen. 
This is Dr. Nikki Karanja. <laughs> or Reverend Dr. Nikki Karanja. Come on, appreciate him. Charlie Nick Karanja. He's married to Rachel Karyuki. Sorry, Rachel Karanja. Rachel Karanja. And they have been blessed with this beautiful young man called Victor. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. And this is my sister. She is called Lynn Monica Karyuki. Kirui. <laughs> There's one name that I almost forgot and she gave me a look. Lynn Monica Karyuki Kirui. She's married to one Mr. Benjamin Kirui. And soon and very soon you'll start seeing her health changing. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. But here's a microphone. Two of them. There's a song we learned to sing not because we were taught but because we heard our parents sing it over and over and over and over again from the time we were kids until we learned. They didn't know I was doing this so they are also surprised that, but at least I hinted Kidogo they are going to sing. Oh, and I am also married. Please, my beautiful wife, stand up. That is Pastor Eva Karaoke. Come on, appreciate her. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, and our beautiful daughters, Duta and Jerry and Mark is somewhere around. But this one is a special one because it's, uh, it is actually, it brings childhood memories. Buenas fue sana. Some people say that is all time religion is it's just a thing of the past. But in this modern Days that we're living is the only thing that will last. You may think that I'm a little old fashioned, well, friends, that's all right with me. But I'm so glad that I am a Christian from sin. I have been set free. I know. There's no doubt about it, it lives in my heart, and I'm gonna shout it. I know, I know, my sins are forgiven, and I'm on my way to a place that's called heaven. Not long ago, in an old-fashioned meeting, I knelt down on my knees there and prayed. He lifted my burdens, since shackles fell from me, and his presence was so real everywhere. Now that the load I carry is lighter, is changed, my gray skies to blue. My steps are higher, I have this assurance that his sweet love will carry me through. Join us by singing, I know. I know, I know, there's no doubt about it. He lives in my heart, and I'm gonna shout it. I know, I know, my sins are forgiven. And I'm on my way to a place that's called heaven. Come go with me to a land over yonder is prepared. For the pure and true It's a land where sickness and death cannot enter I'm going, brother, how about you? Maybe today or maybe tomorrow you return In robes of pure white I'm packing up now Getting my things together, who knows, he may come tonight. I know, I know, I know, there's no doubt about it. He lives in my heart and I'm gonna shout it. I know, I know, my sins are forgiven and I'm on my way to a place that's called hell. Come go with me 
to a place that's called heaven. Hallelujah. Come on, appreciate us, please. Appreciate us. Thank you, thank you. Asante sana ndugu na dada. Barikiwe. Asante mmefanya kazi mzuri. Mtalipa mengi zaidi. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Uh, that is a song our dad and mom used to love very very much. Uh, my mom never knew when she was called to sing. Bishop would just say, "Come, come, come babe or come Joyce." And then they would just start singing. So we learned we never sat down and you know read the words. We just the ears they sang is when is how we were able to learn that song. Just like we knew in every wedding where Bishop would go and join the wedding, the the scripture or the the uh, the scripture he would use is John two. Every time, everywhere, every wedding he joined, he said John two. And there was a wedding in Cana of Galilee, so we knew that and we knew even the song. Blessed be the name of the Lord. It brings, uh, it brings back a lot of memories, but we thank the Lord that in everything we give thanks. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Uh, thank you so much, our worship team. We appreciate you. Asante Let's appreciate our worship team. Asanteni. Amen, amen. And as the worship team is leaving, I uh, would like to ask that the parents release our children so that they can go to Sunday school. So that we can go and receive bread uh, where, where uh, in their Sunday school. Wakaweza kupata ule mkate Watoto tafadhali kujeni. Sunday school. Pole 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 mtianguke. Precious. Sasa Amalia. Good, Ruta. Good, 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 good. Amen, 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 amen. Mukopoa. Yes. Yes, yes. Nani amefunga shule? Musha funga. Oh, see you, wewe. Ongapi wana funga next week. Good. Tulisema nyinyi ndio the head. Sawa. You are the head and not. Shout it. I am the head and not the tail. I am above and not beneath. Amen. Amen. Leo ndo chagua wanyo wala tuombea. Sidiwa? Kuja. Wewe uliomba last Sunday. Nani ya jaomba last Sunday? Kuna wewe ukuomba, kuja uombe. Awa bili peke yake watu uombe. Amali utuomba next Sunday. Thank you. Na wewe mungine, utuombe next Sunday. Sawa. Watu tukiomba, tunafanya nini? Tunafunga macho. So let's close our eyes. Hakuna kutuza cheza hapa. Close. Let's pray with the children, please. Thank you, Lord, for this day. You have brought us into guide us, O Lord. Protect us, O Lord, and bless you our crowns. In Jesus' name, pray. Amen. Amen. Let's bow our heads for out of prayer. Oh God, we thank you for this day, oh God. Some people wanted to see this day, but they are not able to see it, oh God. Oh God, thank you that you have made us wake up this morning, oh God, in good health, oh God. Bless the people who are in the hospital, oh God, and you shall help them to get healed, oh God. Even the needy and the street children, oh God. You shall help them, and you shall provide for them everything they need, oh God. Thank you for our pastors, our bishops, oh Lord. Thank, thank you that you made us come here this morning, oh God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Come on, let's appreciate our children. Thank you for the prayers. Thank you for the prayers. Watoto tufuate mwalimu, pole pole. Usikimbie, pole pole, pole pole. And as we we'll have a good time in the Sunday school, thank you teachers for a job well done. May you reap a hundredfold. Thank you. As the children are going, please, if there's a seat they had occupied, try and move in front so that we create more room for those who are coming in. Let's, uh, let us try to Fadali, Asha's help us so that we can move forward. If there's, a, if, if there's a seat in front of you, just sit. Don't hesitate. Yeah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. 
I know you are used to certain seats but Najua kuna kitu yako kalia. But once in a while it's important to Lakini to obey. Siku, siku moja ni mzuri unaweza kutii na kuweza ku, kuketi mbele ya mahali umezoea. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana Yesu litukuzwe. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. How many are expecting to receive from God this afternoon? How, came, how many, many came expecting to receive from God? Blessed be the name of the Lord. May your expectation not be cut short. And may your expectations be met this day in Jesus' name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We want to get straight into the word of God. Because that is what brought us here today. So I would want to ask humbly if you brought your Bibles and if you did, lift them up like this and let me see it. Did you bring your Bible? I know some of you have it in your iPad, in your iPhones, but just lift it up with a smile and say, This is my Bible. This is my Bible. I love it. I love it. It has changed my life. It has changed my life. And this afternoon, and this afternoon, I am ready to receive. I am going to receive the incorruptible, the incorruptible, ever living, ever living seed of the word of God. Seed of the word of God. I will never be the same. I will never be the same. Never, never, never. Never, never, never. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Put it somewhere and give Jesus a clap. Amen. Amen. Now, to bring us the word of God this afternoon, uh, is a friend of the bishop. They met in Cote d'Ivoire when Bishop told us last time that he had gone to Cote d'Ivoire. Uh, Pastor Steve, uh, Steve comes from Cape Town, South Africa. Uh, from a church called Cape Get Gateway International Church. They are in Cape Town. He's more of a pastor, but he's also a businessman. An entrepreneur. So, and uh, of course, a husband and a father. And many more that he will tell us when he comes. But today we receive him as a friend of the bishop. Who the bishop has seen fit for us to, uh, for him to come and minister the word of God today. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We told you, if you the Bible says if you receive a prophet in the name of a prophet, what, are, what shall you receive? A prophet's reward, right? So, right now, without much ado, uh, please help me welcome to this microphone. Stand up on your feet, house of bread. And help me welcome to this mic none other than Pastor Steve Landoff, all the way from Cape Town, South Africa. Let's celebrate him, celebrate, celebrate, celebrate. Celebrate, celebrate, Pastor Steve. Thank you, thank you. Bless you, sir. Jumbo. Jumbo. Uh, but, but, uh, Buana. Asifiwe. Amen. 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 God is good. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Bona asifiwe. Bona. Bona asifiwe. asifiwe. Amen. I greet you in the precious name of Jesus. Na wasalimu kwa jina kula Yesu Christo. The name that's above every other name. Jina abalo ni zaidi ya majina yote. I, I cannot stand in my own strength. Uh, siwezi weka guvu zaidi. I have to depend on God. So I come to you humbly this morning as a servant of the Most High God. Just a channel through which God can move. As I speak to you this morning, I request that you open your heart 
Open your heart so that God can speak to you today. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Before you get seated, just greet somebody on the left. Greet somebody on the right. Tell them it's going to be good. God's about to meet my need. He's about to touch my life. Hallelujah. 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 Come on, give a shout of praise this morning. Join me, give a shout of praise this morning. Come on, give your best shout of praise. Give a good shout of praise. Open your mouth and give him praise. Blessed be his name. Blessed be your name, God. Blessed be your name. You're a good God. If it weren't for the Lord, where would we have been? I don't know about you. I can only imagine. I could have been in prison. I could have been dead. I could have been sick. But by the grace of God, I am here today to share the powerful word of the Lord with you today so you can rejoice this morning and give the Lord some praise and give Him thanks this morning. In Jesus' name. Turn with me to the book of Luke chapter 17 this morning. Book of Luke chapter 17. Luke Akuminasaba. Praise God. Praise God. Can we read verse 19? Mustali wa kuminatisa. Mighty God. Tell your neighbor you look good. You look good. You look good. Come and say it. Let them feel better. Tell them you look good. You look good. You look good. You look good. Yes, mean it. Mean it. Tell them you look good. You look good. You look good, sister. You look good, brother. You look good. Come on, you look good. You look good. Amen. Amen. I'm an encourager. I came to encourage you. I didn't come to break you down. I came to build you up. I've been sent to build you up. To lift you up. To inspire you. Look what the word of the Lord says. Verse 19. And he said to him. Arise. Arise. Go your way. Your faith has made you whole. Made you well. He healed you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may be seated. Many times, people refer to you. What you by your condition na hali, and not by your name. Na kini siyo kwa jina lako. The Bible talks inanena, about ten lepers. Kuhusu wenye, ukumi, wenye ukoma walio kuwa kumi. Now, I don't see the names mentioned. Sijaona wameadikwa majina yao. The Bible says there was 10 lepers. Isn't it true that people sometimes call you by your condition and not by your name? They say, Oh, she's the sister from that area. Oh, shame, that's a poor brother. Oh, that's a businessman. Oh, that's a, a doctor. Oh, this person is a beggar. Oh, this person is lame. People like to call you by your condition. Ay, 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 ay. They like to say things over you. They like to speak about you and they want to refer to your negative 
status but here in the scripture it is recorded that Jesus meets 10 lepers Yesu akakutana na watu kumi wenye ukoma and one thing I notice about my Jesus whenever he meets you no matter your condition bila kujalisha hali yako he always takes time kila wakati ye ananyosha to meet your need irrespective of your condition. Bila kujali hali yako. Oh, come on somebody, give a shout there. Pea That's yesu a good shagwe. place to give a shout. Ani wakati mungu Jesus pea doesn't, shagwe. Jesus doesn't mad, he don't care yesu about your condition. Kuhusu hali yako. He don't care yeye about your status. Ajuya hali yako. He don't care yeye hajali about where you come from. Hali umetoka. He don't care yeye hajali about how you look. Vila he don't care yeye about hajali. what you wear. Unavali he hali. don't care how much money you have. Ajali, he pesa don't care ajali. If you are educated or uneducated, Kama umesoma ama huja soma, he comes yeye huja to meet your condition. Akutane na hali yako. To meet your need. Akutane na I lako. came this morning to let you know that Jesus came this way yes, again. Kuja as he comes every Sunday. Kama vila na kuja as he kama comes vila. every week. Kama vila na He's kila come week. this way again kuja tena. to let you know your condition ya hali yako. is about to change. Yiko kugeuka. God's about to turn and yiko kugeuka. that which people spoke of of you negatively when they said you are lame when they said you are blind when they said you are poor when they said you are sick when they say that you're not going to make it when they say that you're not going to go anywhere God's about to meet you and change that condition today today tell your neighbor today Tell your neighbor today. Tell them today. Today it's going to change. No more are they going to call me by my condition. Today it's ending. My God. There's some things that you only hear when you have a heart of thankfulness. Sure. Can I just pause there? Please accept my apology. Because it's the second service. I failed to firstly say thank you to the leadership of this church to my newfound my bishop my friend Bishop Mark Kariuki what a great man of God you have Mama Joyce the bishops, the pastors, the fivefold ministry here I feel a connection and I want to say thank you I don't know how to express it to you today I am grateful for the relationship Amen. Amen and so may I continue to say this I heard that your theme for this year is open heaven and the Lord said to me to tell you that you can permanently be under an open heaven you can be under an open heaven when you at your workplace when you're sitting behind your desk when you are driving in the car when you are getting onto an aeroplane when you are studying God said to me to tell you that he has made a permanent open heaven for some of you today for this church here 
He's opening up the heavens and I just came to announce it to you today. Don't criticize me. Don't mess with me. I'm just the messenger and I'm just here to say the floodgates of heaven is open over deliverance ministry and God is pouring out his blessing. Hallelujah. It will come from the north. It will come from the south. It will come from the east. It will come from the west. Men shall give into your bosom. Press down. Shake it together. And running over. Shall men give into your bosom. This is your season. Of open. Heaven. Amen. Amen. Do you receive that? Do you receive that? Yes. Do you receive it? Yes. Give a big celebration sound. <laughs> shout <laughs> amen. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. And then this is what he dropped in my spirit. <laughs> to stay under an open heaven. You got to be positioned right. These ten lepers were at the right place at the right time. Sometimes you can miss it if you're at the wrong place. Principle number one position is key. In property, when you want to buy property, they say there's three important things. It's position, position, position. <laughs> you buy the worst house in the best area. So that by the time you have renovated the house and you sold, sell the house, you make four times, six times, and in one case, I can record almost 10 times what you paid for. It's all about position. In the kingdom of God, it's about position. Listen, you got to posture yourself in the presence of the Lord. Let me tell you that the miracle let me tell you the miracle, the blessing, the breakthrough. God has already prepared it for you. And he's positioned it for you. And by the time you get into your rightful position, you will have access to your blessing. Are you with me? Are we together here this morning? It's about position. These ten, ten lepers, they meet Jesus. You need to know, and you do probably know this, lepers were not allowed in the temple. Lepers were not allowed in the city. Many of us with our condition are not allowed to participate in certain opportunities because of our condition. I came this morning to address your condition. There is business opportunities. There is ministry opportunities. There is life opportunities. There's a man waiting for you, young lady. There's a woman waiting for you, young man. But your condition disqualifies you. Today I came as a servant of the Most High God to address your condition so that you can be positioned for your blessing. Come on, someone. God is going to position you for your blessing. These lepers, they were not allowed to be amongst the community. Because leprosy is contagious. Others could get that also from you. 
I want you to see this. These ten lepers. They probably must have been deformed. Because when you have leprosy, you can't walk right. How is this mama vizuri? You are weak. You, you, you are deformed. You, you, it, it pulls you in certain directions. Leprosy affects your posture. You can't walk up straight. And some people have leprosy in the church. They can't walk up straight. They can't live upright. They can't raise their hands. They can't give. Because they have leprosy. But I came this morning to let you know that God is about to heal you of your disease spiritually. Physically, financially, emotionally, or relationally, God is about to heal you. So they meet Jesus, these weak men, ten of them, they meet him. One meeting with Jesus is going to change your life. One meeting. One encounter. Your unsaved husband shall be saved. Your business is going to turn around. One encounter with Jesus. Everything's different. They come to Jesus. They walk up to him. Struggling. They get to him. And he says to them. In the previous verses there. From, chap, from verse 11. Chapter 17. 11. He said. When he entered into a certain village. He met the ten men. They stood afar off. Your leprosy condition causes you to be way back. God has not intended for you to hide away. God wants you to be in the forefront of of what's happening. You cannot hide away as a believer. A worship team sang a powerful song in the first service. We are the salt and we are the light. Salt and light you can't hide away. You've got to be amongst the people. But leprosy causes you to stand afar off. The spiritual leprosy that's causing people to just sit there and when you fall off, you miss golden opportunities. Remember the man that was by the pool. He needed somebody to help him to put him in. He was close, but he didn't have the capacity. God is sending us here today to help you if you are far off to come and to pull you in the swamp and to say to you, jump in. Be healed. Be delivered. Be made whole. They stood afar off. But look what Jesus does. And this is what he's doing today. He's saying, Leper, go show yourself to the priest. Go show yourself to the priest. You understand? The priest had a responsibility. God has put priests in your life. Priests that will authorize your new status. The world says that you are sick. The priest preach and says you are healed. 
The doctor says that you've got AIDS. Daktari anasema una ukimwi. The priest says the blood of Jesus washes away all sins. Kuhani naye anasema heals you of all disease. Ya kwamba damu inaponya na inaweza kuponya magonjwa yote. Yesu akasema Go show yourself. Enda ujionyeshe to the priest. Kwa kuhani. I want you to see this this morning. Nigetaka uone haya asubuhi ya leo. You 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 understand you cannot rationalize hawezi waza what god speaks abayo mungu hunena god will tell you crazy things at times mungu atakwambia mambo yanakaa kama ni wazimu it doesn't make sense abayo kwa hisia zako ni kama haieleweki allow me to say to you hebu nikuambie leo even giving hata kutoa to some people it don't make sense kwa watu wengine inakaa ni kama upubavu People say but why must we give? Watu wanauliza kwa nini tutoe? Because we honor God. Kwa sababu tunaheshimu Mungu. With our first fruits. Ah uh, katika mazao yetu ya kwanza. In fact, uh, kwa kweli, God is so fair. Mungu yeye ni mkuu. He says keep the 90%. Anasema wewe uweke 90%. I only want the minimum 10%. Nahitaji hiyo kidogo 10%. That's God. Huyo ni Mungu. And then he talks about offering. Na yeye anasema juu ya matoleo. We talk about seven offerings. Tunasema juu ya matoleo aina saba. We talk about different offerings. Tunasema aina aina ya matoleo. My father taught me about offering. Ah baba yangu alinifunza juu ya matoleo. His life was an offering. Maisha yake yalikuwa kama matoleo. My father would give his last money. Ah baba yangu angetoa pesa yote to people he don't even know. Kwa watu ambao hata hatujui. They could be poor. Wagekuwa maskini. They could be rich. Pengine walikuwa matajiri. He would give. Yeye agatoa. My father would say. Baba yangu agasema. You can never out give God. Hawezi zidisha Mungu kwa kutoa. My father's favorite words. Alikuwa na maneno ambayo ni ya kibali. You can't out give God. Yakoba huwezi zidisha Mungu kwa kutoa. I remember one time. Ninakumbuka wakati mmoja. We had people come to our house. Tulikuwa na watu wametutembelea kwa nyumba. He would cook for pastors and for leaders and yeah. for members. Agapikia viongozi na hata wachungaji na hata washirika. My father said, Baba yangu alisema, Scripture teaches us, amadiko yanatufunza that a good man, Yakoba mtu mwema, can cook food. Yeye anaweza pika chakula. <laughs> He said a good man, Yakoba mtu mwema, must cook for his family too. Lazima apikie jamii yake. He gave us a hiding. Yeye akatupatia. I could really cook. Ah mimi sikiweza kupika. But I try now and then. Lakini huwa najaribu mara moja mara moja. Because my dad said I must cook. Ah kwa sababu babangu alisema lazima nipike. So people came and they ate. Watu walikuwa wanatutembelea wanakula. And my father said and I was a little boy. Ah wakati nilikuwa mdogo babangu anasema. My father said to us. Babangu alikuwa anatuambia. The children sisi watoto you must eat lazima mkule there's no more food after this hakuna chakula kingine baada ya hiki when he cooked the food wakati alipika chakula other people came watu wengine walikuwa wanakuja and we had to always let our guest eat first lakini sisi tuliruhusu wageni wakula kwanza they ate up all the food wanakula wanamaliza chakula yote they left nothing for us hawabakishi kitu kwetu Jesus <laughs> We were looking tulikuwa tunatarajia Where's our food chakula yetu iko wapi They ate it all up wamekula yote Then my father said na baba yangu agasema While the people were all in the house watu wakiwa wameja pale kwa nyumba I'm going to cook again nitapika tena for the third time in mara, one day mara ya tatu kwa siku moja This was the afternoon a, a, wakati wa dhuhuri He opened the fridge. Yeye anafugua fridge. Took out the last but the food. Anachukua chakula ambacho kilikuwa kimebaki. He cooked the food. Anapika tena. And he told us as children. Na anatuambia kama watoto. Now you must eat. Lazima mkule. There's no more food. Hakuna chakula kingine. But he didn't stop there. Lakini haikumalizia hapo. He said, anasema, God, Mungu, will provide ataweza kuatwaria Jehovah Jireh yeye ni Jehovah Jireh he said god will provide yeye mungu atatwalia we sat tukaketi we ate tukakula no more food in the fridge hakuna chakula kingine kwa fridge no more food in the cupboards hakuna hata pale kwa kabati we were all full tumejaa tumeshiba 
There was a knock on the door. A man came from Namibia. Another country. To Cape Town. With a plastic bag. We all sat in the lounge. And we looked. The man of God just said God will provide. The man comes and he asks, Is this Apostle Flandob's home? We said, Yes. He said, God sent me to bring this to you from Namibia. It was a whole sheep. Uh, uh, a whole sheep ni, ni a lamb ni buzi, ni buzi a whole one Abaya ni mzima. we could eat for days again kwa masiku isn't that the God that we serve ni doesn't he deserve our praise and that's how he's been working with us Na hivo kazi. so I want to say this to you today don't rationalize what God is saying. When God says it, He will do it. When God tells us the full picture, we're going to mess it up. So He only gives us parts. The first series. The second series. The third series. But if he gives us the whole thing. Of what God is saying you must do. You're going to be scared. You're going to be afraid. So he tells us step by step. You see what you don't recognize. You will lose. You've got to recognize Jesus speaking to these lepers that he is the healer. They did not even recognize that. They came, they needed a change in their condition. But they did not recognize really who he was. What you don't recognize, you lose. When you walk into the presence of great men, recognize the grace. Recognize the gift. The anointing you respect is the anointing you will attract. Respect the grace of fathers, of prophets, of priests, of teachers, of business leaders, of government officials. The anointing you respect is the anointing you will attract. The Bible says that Jesus says, go show yourself to the priest. Ten of them went. They must have struggled to get to the priest. I can only imagine how the people must have looked at them. Where are these lepers going? They're not supposed to be in the city. They're not allowed in the temple. And here they are going to show themselves. But the Bible says, as they went, they were healed. There's something about the word of God. When you obey his word, you'll be healed. When you listen to his word, you'll be healed. Your poverty is over. Take the word of the Lord this morning. I declare that over your life that that disease is ending. It is ceasing. It's drying up in your body. In the name of Jesus. That poverty is broken. I declare that this morning every poverty giant is coming down. Every poverty spirit is changing. God is bringing the 
blessing of multiplication, of increase, of abundance, of more than enough because the heavens are open over Kenya, over Nairobi, over deliverance ministry, over your life. Believe the word of the Lord. They went to show themselves to the priest and they were healed. This one word can change your life. If you can believe it, you know you will receive it. It's up to you this morning. God can let you have what you've never even dreamt of. I'm a living testimony. I'm a living testimony. What God has done for me, I know He can do for you. I know that. I was preaching in America many years ago. And uh, the pastor introduced me to some business people. One of the businessmen, six years before I met him, he was staying in an apartment on a bed that didn't belong to him, in a house that didn't belong to him, and they were poor. He began to believe the word preached. Six years later, Six years later, he was a multi-billionaire in dollar terms. He asked me to fly in his private jet to go to a, church, to, go to a boxing fight. Evander Holyfield and somebody else was fighting. He had to put in $24 million dollars and HBO, HBO put in the other 40%. He lost $24 million that night. It, it didn't even bother him. The morning when I preached in the church, came from New York, I was in, back to Atlanta. And when I preached in the church, he was standing there in front. And I was busy building my church in Cape Town. And I thought, God's going to use this man. That's what I thought, I confess. To give me a few million dollars. But as I was preaching, the Holy Spirit took over in that church in America. And people were flat on the floor. The Lord said, don't lay your hands on anyone. Just get them lining up in front. And I want you to walk slowly past them. As I walked past them, they were falling under the power. They were falling under, there was no ushers, no catchers, nothing. They were just falling. And God said, walk back. And I walked back. And I said, Lord, don't let him fall. <laughs> Keep him up. <laughs> because he needs to give. <laughs> and the Lord said, no. He fell out under the anointing. That's in the first service. The second service started. He was still laying down there. For three hours, he was out. He was out. He, when he came by, he laughed and laughed. And everyone that walked past him, the spirit of joy came upon them. And the Lord said to me clearly, I'm putting my joy in him because what's about to happen to him, he's going to need the joy to be his strength. I came back to South Africa. Did not know the, all the details. At that time, there was about what they call seven uh, medium term, no traders in the world only. Uh, only allowed seven. Uh, highly financial term. <laughs> but they had seven. He was connected to one. 
they were giving to communities to churches to organizations just the one lady gave 200 million dollars in 6 months away 200 million dollars that was a tithe that was a tithe in six months. I said, my God. <laughs> my God. He said to me, I must introduce him to a minister of finance and a governor of the reserve bank. I said, no problem. I set it up. While we were busy arranging this, I could see millions of dollars flowing into my account. While we were busy doing this deal, he said to me, you just do the connection. You don't ever have to work in your life. You can build churches all over the world. I got excited, man. When I got home to South Africa, uh, Pale, South Africa, I got a call three weeks later uh, to say that this man has been locked up in prison for a huge Ponzi scheme of $300 million. A scheme, in other words, people put money into it, but there's no projects. They use that money to live off. It's like a, it's a Ponzi scheme, or what's the other term? Pyramid scheme. It was like that. He had lawyers and accountants working for him all over the world. They had their own global credit card. This was the man that was broke six years ago. That God blessed to become a multi-billionaire. But he wasn't happy with that. He wanted more. I'm here to say to you that can also be a condition. I'm coming to address every condition in your life. I now understand that tithing and giving is God's remedy of keeping the spirit of greed from you. Tithing is the antidote for greed. So I encourage you when God blesses you honor him with what you've got. Don't forget God. These ten lepers they went to show themselves to the priest. They were healed. But one returned. He came back. He came back to his source. To Jesus. You see some people. When they get their blessing. They're gone. They get their husband. They leave the church. They get their business. They leave the, they leave the Lord. They get what they came for. And they're gone. Nine of them. Left. They stayed there. You can settle too early. Tell your neighbor. Don't settle. Too early. Oh come on now. I feel this thing here this morning. Tell somebody. Don't settle too early. Don't settle too early. You can tell me. Don't settle too early. Don't settle too early. Don't settle too early. These nine. How they were happy. They were healed. And they left. But the one returned. Listen what the Bible says. The Bible says the one that returned. I believe he understood. That God was my, is my source. You see many people forget who their source is. They get the healing and they forget who is the healer. 
Oh my God. They get the breakthrough and they forget who's the one who breaks the, the, the barriers and the, and the curses and the yokes. Oh, come on, I'm talking to somebody. Uh, many people, they get the, you know, the husband and uh, they gone. They get what they came for and they leave. I challenge you this morning in the name of Jesus. Don't settle too early. Don't leave when you get a little breakthrough. Don't go back to your old ways. I like what the Bible says. The one that returned that came back to the source of his healing. The source of the one Changing his condition. When he came back to the one that, that changed his life. And acknowledged him. Something happened to him. Before I get there, let me say this to you. He went back to his source. The others was probably celebrating. Wegine water. You can take so much time looking at your bank statements. You know when God starts blessing you, you look at money. Investment account. This account. Offshore account. You can spend all your time looking there. And not looking up. What happened to this man? He he said, I'm not going to take my eyes off my source. I'm going to keep my eyes on my source. Because if he could heal me, he can bless me. If he can change my condition, he can put me in another better place. And so this one man returned. Let me, let me just say, when they showed themselves to the priest, the activity of leprosy ended in their lives. The activity, because leprosy could still have been present. You can, some people get healed on the outside, but not healed on the inside. But when you follow through with your miracle, oh my the Bible says, the one that returned, the one that returned, the Bible says, he was made, come on somebody shout it out, the one that returned was made, whole, he was made, whole, in other words, the others were healed, but he was made, whole, oh my, 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 I, I, I see an interesting, interesting scripture there. One of the verses there, you can read it at home. It says, Jesus, when he returned and came to Jesus, Jesus asked the question, Where is the other nine? Where is the other nine? Uh, my, my, my understanding of that is this. Uh, that Jesus is always anticipating Yesu kila wakati your thankfulness. Uh, ushukuru. Oh, David understood this. David says in Psalm 92 verse 1. He says it's a good thing to give thanks kumshukuru unto the Lord. Kumshukuru Jesus was waiting for the nine. But they got their breakthrough and they left. But I'm speaking to a group of people here this morning that says, I'm not leaving, Lord, like Jacob, until you bless me. Girl. Lord, I don't just want a now blessing. I want the blessing of the Lord upon my life every single day. Can I hear you this morning? Can I hear an amen? amen? Can somebody shout a big praise the Lord? Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Can Jesus. I hear a big thank you, Jesus? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me. Thank you, Jesus, for delivering me. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you for my blessing. Thank you for my breakthrough. Thank you for my prosperity. Thank you for my success coming. Thank you for the doors opening. Lord, thank you for the miracles in my life. Thank you that you're elevating me, Lord. Thank you, Father. Your blessings upon my life, upon my children, upon my children's children. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, shout it out. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. He's waiting for your thank you. He was anticipating it. Yeah, they were healed. Yeah, they were healed, but they left. He was actually waiting, which tells me that God has got so much more for us, but we may have forgotten to say thank you for the last miracle. Friday night when the Holy Spirit moved with all that 3,000 plus men, I went back to my hotel room I fell on my knees. I said, thank you for the privilege of being amongst these great men. Thank you for your anointing upon my life. Thank you for my health. Thank you for your blessings, God. Thank you that I'm alive for a time such as this. Africa, Africa, it's your time. Ni wakati wako. South Africa, uh, Africa kusini. Kenya, Kenya. Nairobi, Nairobi. Nakuru, Nakuru. It's your time. Ni wakati Kenako, wako. Ni wakati it's wako. our time. Ni wakati it's time wakati. for us to give him thanks. Ni wakati wetu wa kushukuru. And this is what the Lord said to me to tell you tonight today. Na hivi ndio Bwana ni kuambia leo. Your attitude of gratitude and of thankfulness will keep the heavens open. Oh my Lord. Oh my Lord. Listen, your attitude of thankfulness will keep the heavens open. The more you thank him, the more he's going to bless you. The more you, your children say thank you to you, the more you give to them. God, God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. Whatever he says, that he will do. Only one remembered the source. I declare, Ninatagaza. you are the one. Yakoba ninyinyi. You are the one. Ninyinyi. You are the one. Ninyinyi. Oh, sister at the back, you are the one. You Brother, are the you one. are the one. You are the one. And God is seeing your thankfulness today. Abaye mugu anaona shukrani zako. And he's getting ready to load down the blessings of the Lord upon your life. The, the heavens are going to be open. If you have walked away, Turn Turn back back to the the source. Source. If you forgot to say thank you, turn around and say thank you today. You shall be made whole. Your thanksgiving must be louder than your need or than your cry. The intensity of your cry Uzito wa chako, in response to your received miracle uh, na pahali zako, should be stronger than the cry in your need. When I came Waitaji. back to the hotel, man of God, uh, and I shumuka, cried and I prayed, na nikalia, na nikaomba, I fell asleep. Nikalala, when I woke up the morning, my first thing I do, uh, nafanya, I fall on my knees. Uh, magoti, I made it a habit. Uh, I make it a ritual. Nitabia it's yagu. a good habit. Uh, I decided I want to first say good morning to God. Nikamua, That's me. Wana 
And as I went on my knees, I couldn't pray. I literally woke up crying. Saturday morning. Just thank you for your presence, God. Thank you for your anointing. Thank you that I can be alive. Thank you that I can be used of you. Thank you for the doors that you open. Thank you for provision. Thank you. Thank you. For salvation, deliverance, healing, breakthroughs. Thank you. I could keep on, I could go on. I was crying. Thank you. Do you know what? I got up from there. I wasn't tired. I wasn't sick. I was whole. Because thankfulness makes you whole. Home. Oh my Lord, thank you man of God. Thank you for supporting me this morning. Thank you. God is always anticipating your thanksgiving. When a man is thankful, when a believer is thankful, there are things that you hear that others don't hear. Thankfulness will position you for greater blessing. And for you, this year, take time to say thank you to God for the man and woman of God, for this church, for the new building, for the leaders. Say thank you for your family. Thank you for their salvation. Spend time saying thank you. Is being healed. A new dimension is coming to you. He's going to show you a whole new dimension of glory, of grace, of favor, of blessing. Oh my God, of salvation, of healing, of miracles. God's about to show you a whole new dimension. The only thing you must do show up. Show up. Every Sunday, show up. Every prayer meeting, show up. When you go to work, just show up. Be early. Be on time. Be ready. Be expectant. And be thankful. And God is going to make you whole. Do you receive the word this morning? If you receive it, won't you stand to your feet this morning and give the Lord a real good shout of thanks? Give him a shout of thanks. Give him a shout of thanks. Give him a big shout of thanks. Give him a big shout of thanks. Give him a big shout of thanks. Come on. You can, you, can you can do better. You can do better. You can do better. Give him a big shout of thanks. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Come on, give him a big shout. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Give him thanks. Asante Bwana. We give thanks to you, O God. Oh my God. I'm going to do two, two things. If you are unsaved here today, God sent me all this way. I, I, I go to countries and I tell them I pay my own way. And I, I tell them I want to fly in style. You know, I want to come in style. <laughs> so I don't want to put a burden on you. And I've come all this way. I know because of you. So I'm not going to leave you without making a deposit in your life. There's been a word deposit. But there's a transfer of what's on my life that can be on yours. I'm going to believe God today for what's on my life to be double on your life. If that's you, run quickly to the front. I'm going to pray for you. 
If you want that, run quickly. Ikiwa unatamani ya bauli kwa dani yake ni kaamishwa dani yako ukibia mara moja. Just one person and one double the anointing. You run. Ikiwa unataka upako mara dufu ukibia mara hapa. Mtu mmoja ninafurahi. Just just come to the front quickly. Kuja tu hapa bele ikiwa unataka. That's the one call. Second call. Ah ninaitana mara ya pili. If you don't know Jesus, you must come now. Ikiwa haumjui Yesu jo mara moja hapa. God loves you. Mungu anakupenda. He wants to touch you. Anataka kukugusa. God is here to meet with you. Mungu wako hapa kugusa wewe. If you don't know Jesus come now. Kuhamjui Yesu kuja saa hii. Mighty God. Check with your neighbor. Uh, Agalia jirani yako. Check with the person next to you. Abaya mko karibu naye. Ask them if they are saved. Muulize kama ameokoka. If they know God. Kama wanamjua Mungu. If not. Kama hawamjui. Ask them. Muulize. If you can walk with them to the front. Kama unaweza msaidiaje hapa mbele. Cuz you want them kwa sababu unatamani wao experience God today. na Mungu leo. So bring them quickly this morning. Uh, tafadhali walete hapa mbele kwa mara moja. If you are a gangster? Na kama I don't care if you are drug lord. Uh, sijui kama ulikuwa ba, ulikuwa mwizi. I don't care if you are prostitute. Ama ulikuwa kahamba. I don't care if you're a thief. Sijali kama wewe ni mwizi. I don't care who you are. Sijali wewe ni nani. Jesus loves you. Yesu anakupenda. He wants to save you. Anataka kukuokoa. He wants to change your condition. Anataka kubadilisha hali yako. Today I've come. Leo nimekuja. As a servant of the most high God. Kama mtumishi wa Mungu aliyehai. To declare. Nitagaze. That your condition is changing. Ya kwamba hali yako inabadilika leo. Amen. 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 Raise your hands this morning. Inua mikono yako juu. Can we get some worship music guys up? Aba wanaogoza kuabudu tafadhali. Thank you Lord. Praise and worship. Praise and worship instrumentalist. Instrumentalist praise and worship. Raise hands. Come on expect it this morning. Expect it. Tarajia 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 kutoka kwa Bwana. You got to be expectant. Tarajia kutoka kwa Mungu. Open the taps this morning. Open the channels. Afugua uh, moyo wako. Every restriction in Jesus name. Afugua moyo wako bila kuzuilia Yesu. Open up, open up, open up, open up, open up, open up. Afugua afugua moyo wako. Oh God, the grace upon my life. Neema juu ya maisha yangu. Subject to you Lord. Uh, ina, Subject to your spirit. Inaingia katika roho. Inaingia katika roho zenu. Just raise your hands, raise your hands. Can the pastors join us? The pastors, can you join us? Come and stand here. Just pray with me, pastors. Will you come? We're just gonna move very quickly, very, very quickly. Very, don't miss this. Don't miss this. Don't miss it. 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 To receive it this morning. And if you want to come, come quickly for prayer this morning. Come and take it by the altar this morning. Receive it this morning. Receive it. Receive it this morning. Receive it this morning. Come and take it this morning. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, thank you for this grace. I release the blessing of the Lord upon us. You are so gifted. You are so anointed. You are going to go further than what you've ever imagined. The Lord said, stay faithful. As you remain faithful, just watch how God's going to open global international doors for you. I release that grace upon your life. I release it upon your life. I release it upon your life. What's upon my wife, Pastor Louise? May it be double upon you. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Come on, take it now. 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 In Jesus' name. Father, we release it. We release it. Just take it. Are you ready? Are you ready? Father, we release it. We release it. We release it. That anointing is upon my life. May it be double upon this. Father, may it be double upon this. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus. I pray the doors to open. Greater things is yet to come. Greater things is yet to come. Release it, Father. Oh, release it. Thank you, Lord. Father, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Your life. Your life. Your life. Your life. 
your seats we'd appreciate it thank you so much thank you thank you, thank you, thank you so much my last assignment this morning I try and do this all over the world if there's business people here corporate people here corporate people here because of the grace that God has put upon my life. I'll just say this for those of you that don't know so that just to give God the honor and the glory. The first job that I had when I was appointed there I had no degree. All the people that worked in that department had two degrees at least. At least. I, I outperformed all of them and I went right through the ranks they put me in all different programs across the world if God can do that for me he can do it for you right now the Lord has blessed us to be part of very successful businesses. And I want to say almost on a regular basis there's opportunities coming our way. I want to just release that grace on your life. If you're a businessman and you're serious I just want to pray over you. Everywhere I do it I asked them to please report back and tell me what God's done. So when a major door opens, get my details from Bishop or the leaders and let me know what God's done. It pushes me to continue to do this. When I hear how God can take somebody from poverty to massive profit, prosperity it gives God glory God is interested in your well-being you don't have to struggle 
anymore. Come quickly, we're going to pray for the business people. For those of you that want to be in business, very quickly. Thank you, Lord. I do this under the, under the authority of Bishop. I do it under the anointing. And the grace and the permission of Bishop. I do it under his grace. Because Africa is not poor. Africa is not poor. Africa is not poor. Africa is rich. Africa is rich. Africa is rich. Africa is blessed. Africa is blessed. They have stolen from us the other world countries. They have taken from us. We have forgiven them. We have released them. But now we are rising up and we are taking what is ours. We are taking our blessing. We are taking back our gold. We are taking, our we are taking back our silver. We are taking back our land. We are taking back our businesses. We are taking back our institutions. We are taking it back in the name of Jesus. Are we together? We are taking it back. I have amazing testimonies of Africans doing things all over the world. Crazy stuff you will never believe. They are changing the world. Your brothers and my brothers. They are changing the world. A few weeks ago, I was preaching in or, no, December in, in Washington, D.C. A man from Rwanda. I meet him. He's an ex Harvard. Uh, alumni came from poverty went to Harvard University his wife is one of the top people in the World Bank she's from Nigeria he's from Rwanda I asked them for a job for my son who's an accountant <laughs> that's how God's connecting us listen God's going to divinely connect you your net worth is directly linked to this network. I encourage this church to have a business network, a business forum. I'll come and talk to them, to you guys. I spoke to Bishop. Bishop said, meet with some of the business people. Because I want you to know the opportunities are endless. Amen. Amen. Raise your hands and receive it. I'm not going to lay my hands on you. I'm going to just release it this morning in this place. Rekisondo. All over them, Father. Let the anointing be all over them. Grace for business. A grace for business. A grace for the marketplace. An anointing. Open doors. Open doors. Open doors. Open doors. Favor. Favor. Favor upon Favor upon Oh, in Jesus' name. Lord, I release it. 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 I release it over them. All over them. In the name of Jesus. Father, what's on my life? Put a double, 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 double upon them. Double upon them. We receive it, oh God. In the IT world, oh, in the finance industry, in the marketplace, in industry, in commodities, oh God, in insurances, oh God, in every business, in property, oh God, in social media, in education, oh God, in government. We receive it, oh God. Everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. I now declare you successful. Yes. I declare you prosperous. Yes. I declare you successful. Yes. I declare the doors is open for you. Yes. I declare you going in a new dimension. Yes. Another dimension. Yes. Another level. Yes. Success. Yes. Success. Yes. Success. Yes. Success. Yes. Over your life. Yes. Over your business. Yes. 
over your family. Yes. Success. Yes. Massive increase. Yes. Oh, yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Break the back of poverty. Now you are eagles. No longer chickens. Yes. Now you fly. Yes. Soaring. Yes. The Holy Spirit pushing you. Yes. God opening doors for you. Yes. Angels going before you. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. I declare contracts are being signed. Yes. Oh, projects are being released. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. One more shout of praise, amen. Shout it up, Receive all the glory, receive all the honor. We lift our hands up and we celebrate you, Lord. We celebrate you, Lord. We celebrate you, Lord. Jesus, my And the church said, Amen. 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 That was a powerful one. And it came right in season. If you are if you have not connected with that word, you need to connect with that word. It will be a very good opportunity for you, especially those who have been prayed for about our business. We are dealing, or we are, uh, the pastor in the house, we are dealing with a multi-billionaire. So, if he has stood in this altar, and he has prayed for you, you are becoming a millionaire as well as a billionaire. In Jesus' mighty name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Thank you. You may be seated. Have your seat. You see our bishop when he sends us people to preach, he just doesn't send anyone. There's something that he sees in them. So I would urge you once again, if you'd want to connect with that word, uh, with that word 
please do so nauliza tena ikiwa unataka kuuganika na hilo neno uganike so that uh, the anointing upon the prophet ili ule upako uko juu ya huyu mnabi in the same way and manner that he has prayed for you na vile na jinsi amekuombea can be transferred to you in Jesus mighty name aweza kuingia ndani yako katika jina la Yesu the little you have ile kidogo uko nayo is what god will turn around and multiply to change your situation ndio bwana atajumuisha na aweze kubadilisha hali yako you might not have it now unaweza kuwa hauna wakati huu you still have another sunday next uh, you still have an opportunity next sunday But if you feel you have been pushed and you want to give and connect with that world this is a very good opportunity. Lakini ukiwa unasikia ume sikumika kuuganika na hilo neno kupitia matoleo ni nafasi nzuri sana. It's not about the amount. Ah sio mambo ya ile ni pesa gapi. It is about the connection that uh, it's, it's about the, the the connection with the altar and with the world that has been pro, uh, spoken forth. Ah ni jambo la kuuganika na madhabahu na hilo neno ambalo limeachiliwa. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Jina la Bwana litukuzwe. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. How many have enjoyed that session of word? Come on, let's appreciate King Jesus with our hands. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you Jesus. Jesus. We bless you. Man of God, we honor you. We appreciate you. Thank you very much. Thank you Pastor Steve for allowing God to use you at such a time as this. And thank you very much be may you reap a hundredfold. And we pray that that which is flowing in your life shall be multiplied. Shall be tripled. And wherever you step foot on God shall continue elevating and opening doors for you. In Jesus mighty name. Thank you. Let's appreciate our pastor Pastor Steve. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. It is only one leper who returned to say thank you. It is very important to always say thank you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Only one returned to say thank you. So it is important. Uh, once in a, you know every now and then when something is done to you kila wakati ukitedewa jambo bora when god remembers you or your business just give him thanks and tell god thank you unamshukuru bwana na unamwambia asante We pray here every Monday. At times you pray for an hour and you remember we were being challenged the other day and you are you are asking or you wanted how do I pray for one hour or one and a half hours? If you, if you just come here and keep walking and telling God thank you for my health. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for my children. Thank you for my family. It is enough to give God thanks. Remember what the word said or what the scripture said and this one who returned he was made whole. The others were healed. But the one who returned I don't know if you got that. The one who returned was made whole. So these ones are wengine maybe waliponya ama walipona and maybe we don't even get to hear about them again because either the leprosy came back hello hello huh the leprosy came back or oh, they got healed but they you know they not completely but walikuwa nasikia kuna kitu pale ndani But this one who came to give thanks lakini abali rudi kutoa shukrani the bible says and he was made what whole May you be made whole in your situation. Amen. In Jesus mighty name. Amen. Whatever situation, whatever you are going through, mm. may you be made whole in Jesus mighty name. Amen. Isikuwe tu ni kupona but be made whole. Lakini ufanywe mzima. Like a 360. Ah, uh, round uh, turn. Kauka mviringo. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. He is a prophet of God and he has spoken to our lives. So make sure if something it is a testimony that comes out of it. Come and see me if you cannot see the bishop or one, uh, one of the pastors and then we'll give you the contact that you'll need to email or contact him and tell him what happened after this service. Unaweza kuona wachungaji ama askofu na tunaweza kukuunganisha ukaweza kutuma 
Blessed be the name of the Lord. Because there is a miracle that is going to happen. There is a miracle that is going to happen. A testimony is coming your way. In Jesus' mighty name. You know we've not been late the other Sunday, so at least one, it's okay, today is okay. At least one, it's okay. Na tuho pile ya next Sunday itakuwa na shida pia. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Uh, we want to get into the other part. And uh, it's time to worship God with our substance. Come on, let's celebrate. Let's celebrate, let's celebrate. Thank you. Santi. Uh, we have two kind of envelopes. And we, one is pink in color. And the other one is purple. So if you are, if there is a seat in front of you, there is an envelope. You can look for an envelope. You can pick up an envelope there. Or uh, you can lift up your hands and the ushers are going to give you an envelope. There is a, there's someone there. So we have, we use the pink one. To give our tithes and our offerings. And you will allow us on behalf of the bishop to, to receive your tithes. And release a miracle of abundance in your life, in your, in your family, and in your business, and in everything that you do. In the name of Jesus. The other one is for that. Okay, you'll use that for your tithes and your offerings. So you can uh, put in your tithes and your offerings and we'll bring our tithes in front like we always do. And then the offering and then we'll do it the same way. There's a hand, there's a hand right there behind, yes. Thank you. The other one is for Thanksgiving. I think this one, everybody ought to get one today. As per the message. Amen. 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 Eh? Even if you don't have it, you don't have something, just pick up and uh, tell God, whatever I have is what I'll put in. Blessed be the name of the Lord. It's a good thing to give thanks. If you have it in your phone, that's the pay bill number. On the screen. And then uh, if you want to swipe your card, you can swipe it at the back. The PDQ machine is there. Blessed be the name of the Lord. If you're writing a check, write a check to Deliverance Church LCCI. And we shall receive it. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I'm saying this to give you time to jibanga and uh, arrange yourself as you plan to give those who are doing M-Pesa transaction, those who still want envelopes, or those who are writing checks. But if you're ready to uh, with your tithe, allow us to receive it on behalf of our bishop. Uh, and uh, God will bless you. So if you're ready with your tithe, I'll ask you to come in front. And we shall be able to receive it in Jesus' mighty name. So walk in front. While the tithers. As you walk, you are declaring, uh, you are decreeing and declaring that this is the least I will ever handle. As, as per the message of thanksgiving today. And your business is being promoted. That which you do is being promoted in Jesus' name. Because God will bless the work of your hands. And as you connect with this altar, we are declaring that 
you are blessed in the city and you are blessed in Gishagi. So all the ngombes and mbuzi ambazo umewacha Gishagi pia zimebarikiwa. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Your farm, your land in uh, back at home is also blessed. Yako uko in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And in the course of the week Na- you are receiving your miracle in Jesus mighty name you are rece- that which you are expecting from God is coming to pass in the course of this week even as we get into the new month from tomorrow and I'm not saying that because tomorrow is a, what do they call it? April Fool's no, no, we are not fooling each other here. We are getting your miracle in Jesus' name. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Now lift up your tithes. And let's decree together. By my tithe, By my tithe I declare that Jesus is alive in my resources. I declare that Jesus is alive in my resources. By my tithe, By my tithe I declare the devour abound. I declare the devour abound. Out of my resources. Out of my resources. By my tithe. By my tithe. I declare the windows of heaven open for me. I declare the windows of heaven open for me. The provision of God is my portion. The provision of God is my portion. The abundance of God is my portion. The abundance of God is my portion. The wisdom of God leads me. The wisdom of God leads me. In everything that I do. In everything that I do. The favor of God opens doors for me. The favor of God opens doors for me. I will lend and not borrow. I will lend and not borrow. I shall not lack. I shall not lack. Any good thing. Any good thing. In Jesus mighty name. In Jesus mighty name. Somebody say amen. Amen. We uh, allow us to receive the tithes and your uh, uh, your tithes this morning and release a miracle of abundance in your life, in your family and in everything that you do in Jesus mighty name. Amen. Mm. God of your promise, you don't speak in vain, no syllable empty of mine. Yeah. Mm. For once you have spoken, all nature and science follow the sound of your voice. voice. Father, as I hold the ties of your people, I decree a miracle and a blessing to everyone who has given the 10% Jehovah. May you remember them, may you favor them, may you open doors for them, even as they trust you in this 10%, Lord. Father, may you open doors for them that they never even thought about, they never even thought about them. And Lord, may you make them shine even wherever they work and wherever they do, Lord. Thank you for this. We receive it with gladness in the mighty name of Jesus and we release a miracle of abundance in their life, in their ministry, in their places of work and in everything that they do. In Jesus' mighty name, let everybody say it, amen. amen. Thank you. Another opportunity to give, like we said earlier, uh, you know how we do it so far, so let us... It is a good thing to give thanks. And like we said, it is a good thing to give, uh, to, give, uh, to give your offerings. So make sure you uh, give something that is good. Um, we've been told before, we don't want to repeat all that because of the time, but you came purposely knowing that you want to give. So whatever you have, may you start from my left and on my right so that we can start coming in front and give our, ta- our, our offerings. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The choir will be leading us in that session. Just start walking from... Yes, thank you.
Amen. Amen. I am the salt of the earth. Amen. And I carry the favor of God. Of God. Thank you. You guys are doing a good job. Amen. They have really, really, really improved. Thank you. Thank you so much under the leadership of whoever leads Joshua, she, whoever. Thank you. We salute you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. They are going to, we are going to have an uh, worship experience. Yes. Sometime back, she, please come here for a minute. Uh, this lady who was leading, her name is she. Her name is Wajiro. And uh, she is going to tell us about the worship experience. But Wandugu Pia, who Dada Jaolewa, she's not married. <laughs> she's not married, so. And she's good looking. Isn't yes. So. She, she, she's been called to Cape Town. Hey, Wanaume, Mutakubali Ende. Anyway. <laughs> Let, uh, let, 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 let she talk to us for a minute and tell us about the worship experience. Praise the Lord, church. Uh, praise the Lord again. Uh, I would want to bring to our attention that on the 28th of April, say with me, the 28th of April. 28th of April. We will be having a worship experience as the house of bread, not a choir worship experience. worship experience The house of bread will be having a worship experience on the 28th. That will be in the afternoon. To say me service we are talking about 2:30 all the way to 5:30. A time to just pour ourselves in the presence of the Lord and just worship him and give him the glory. And the theme of the event, rather the worship experience is that he is alive and indeed Jesus is alive. So come celebrate with us and give God the glory so purpose to be there so note it down on your calendar that afternoon don't have any other assignment but to come and join us in worshiping the Lord God bless you amen 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 thank you thank you that is on the 28th of April that will be a week after Easter or the weekend that will follow after Easter so if you're planning to travel over Easter Webeenda, Tembea, go and eat the mbuzi and the kichwe mbuzi and all that but afterwards please return so that we can be together on that uh, 28th of April blessed be the name of the Lord so let us make it let us own it you've been told it's not about the choir I like what she said choir wa konaile worship experience here or no it's not about them it's about us so those seats need to be filled that particular Sunday it is the I think it will be the last Sunday of the month on the 28th so please make it an effort you come so that we can be able to be together we want to receive our visitors those who are here for the first time kama wewe ni mgeni wetu unatutembelea kwa mara ya kwanza tuoneshe kwa ishara ya mkono if you are visiting with us for the first time wherever you are uh, just lift us uh, lift up one of your hands or wave to me thank you thank you we have a visitor right here just stand up thank you thank you thank you Simameni wageni wetu. Oh, thank you. We have visitors. One, two, three, go. Welcome to the live celebration center. Welcome to the house of bread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome to the live celebration center. Welcome to the house of bread. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome to the live celebration center. Welcome to the house of bread. that you are able to come and visit with us today we don't take it for granted we appreciate you and we honor you thank you for uh, choosing to visit with us this particular Sunday may God reward you and give you more time to come more more uh, more Sundays in Jesus mighty name I know you've been given a form like the one I'm holding kama umepatiwa hii form usianze kuisoma saa hizi na kuiangalia sana after tumetoka tafadhali kuja hapa mbele when people have gone and they are living, come in front with the green form, 
This is your admission form. Utakuja sasa hapa mbele ili uweze kupelekwa pahali na hawa warembo ambao tupo nao. These sisters will take you somewhere where you can have a cup of tea or a cup of coffee or a glass of soup. So you are welcome instead of walking outside please come in front and we shall be able to receive you. Thank you hospitality team. Thank you for a good job you are doing. God bless you. In Jesus mighty name. Bwana asifiwe sana. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Uh, how many were born in the month of March? March is coming to an end. If you are born in the month of March, I know one who was born in the month of March. She lives with me. Come on, any other person who was born in the month of March? Come on, stand up on your feet. March babies, March babies, March babies. Every March person who was born in the... Oh, a lot of you, a lot of you. We have something special for you. We are going to sing you a song as the ushers hand you a card. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Uh, I live with one who was also born in the month of March. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Thank you. Happy birthday to all March babies uh, in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a good manner. <laughs> so we appreciate you. Thank you. May you have many more birthdays. Bonas Fuesana. You got married in the month of March. Either you eloped, either you were in Gizwood Box. Whatever happened, but it was in the month of March. And now you're together with your wife or your husband. Is there anyone? Oh, I see Brother Mwenda. Any other person? Any other? Any other? Uh, where? Ah, oh, there is somebody there. I've not seen you very well. But we have a song for you. Thank you. <laughs> Happy anniversary to Mwenda and the others that I've seen. May you have many, many more. And Mwendele kupendana, na kupendana, hadi yesu atakaporudi. Bwana asifue sana. Blessed be the name of the Lord. For those who are not married, marriage is a good thing. Say many amen. 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 Marriage is a good thing. So you're welcome to Mwanze, to Katiane Zaidi. Let's keep looking. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Uh, I am told that a newly married couple uh, is back after their honeymoon. I think this has been the longest honeymoon when we've been waiting and wondering where they are. They got married in December. They are returning to church today. Would you believe that? That has been a very long honeymoon. Let's appreciate Mr. and Mrs. Radido. Come on! Come on! Come on! Hey! Radido, baka tumakai to metoka. Oh, congratulations once again. Happy to see you again. You're well. Thank you. We say in this church that we don't ask you questions when you come in from honeymoon. So we want to say thank you. Nice to have you back. And it's good to see you. 
and muendele uh, kwa honeymoon you keep going in the honeymoon you look good you guys look mwah. you look good together don't they look good that was a long honeymoon let's appreciate them let's appreciate them thank you very much may god bless you may god continue to bless your union and may you go places together and strongly in jesus mighty name amen once again oh i receive this on behalf of the bishop again Asante ni sana mbarikiwe. Let's appreciate Radido and the wife. I need to get I think I need to do uh, we need to do a honeymoon again. If they are taking 3 months, I think I need to do one again. Niwe naongelesha, kwa nini naangalia chini? Blessed be the name of the Lord. Uh, okay. Uh, we want to pray for Mary, our sister Mary Mboro. She's a leader in uh, Royal Diamond. A uh, message came in that she was taken ill and rushed to hospital. So we want to send a word of healing. I think St. Francis Hospital is on this side. So stretch your hands. Sorry. It's in Kasarani. Stretch. Kasarani is this side. So. Father, we send your word of healing in St. Francis Hospital right now where our sister Mary Mboro has been uh, admitted or taken ill, Jehovah. We send your word of healing that heals our diseases, Jehovah. And we pray that whatever condition is affecting and bothering her right now to drive from the root in Jesus' mighty name. Uh, we pray that the devil get uh, your hands out of Mary one boy's life and body right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we send your word of healing and we await a good report that she's going to be get healed, that she's healed from the top of her head to the soles of her feet in Jesus' mighty name. Let everybody say the amen. amen. Thank you. We don't have to be there to lay hands. We know but we speak. That word goes forth and they receive their healing. Remember I told you about Tuombeni, Kenya, a few Sundays ago and they were supposed to be uh, bringing flyers. The ushers will be giving you these flyers as you walk outside or there should be someone downstairs. Ushers, if you can have someone downstairs, it will be far much better because of the congestion and of course we are running out of time. This is Tuombeni, Kenya presents. The time is now crusade. Guest speakers is organized by Evangelist Teresia Wairimo, uh, our mom uh, also, Her Excellency Rachel Ruto, and the guest speaker who is coming is a former gangster called Nikki Cruz. I know you know Nikki Cruz. So Nikki Cruz is the one who is coming. This will be Sunday, March 31st. So it's, uh, it's actually today. Hey, Nileo, it's actually today at Uhuru Park Grounds. Banas Fuesana. So if you have nothing else to do or where you're going and you're wandering, you plot in better care. You can go to Uhuru Park and make sure you see a former gangster now born again. His name is Nicky Cruz from New York City or City. And uh, he got born again and now he's a mighty man of God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So today, 31st of March, Uhuru Park Gardens, we are going to uh, make, make some time and go if you don't have another place where you're going after the service. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Let's get to our media real fast. And then we are about to leave here. Welcome to Life Celebration Center International, the House of Bread, where we lift up the name of Jesus and where we operate under open heavens. This is the House of Bread News. Here at the House of Red, we love our visitors. If this is your first time to worship with us, welcome and feel at home. After this service, please come to the front of the church with the green form you've been given. Our hospitality team will escort you to a room upstairs which has been prepared with you in mind. There you can fill the form over some refreshments as we get to know more about you and you get to know more about the House of Bread family. And if you do not have a church you call home, please feel free to make the House of Bread your church of choice. Our memberships and discipleship classes take place after the services in Bethesda Room and Siloam Room, both upstairs. This sanctuary remains open during the course of the week. Please feel free to come and spend time in the presence of God. Every Monday from 5.30 in the evening, all the leaders meet here in the sanctuary for prayers. 
every Thursday starting from 5.30 p.m. we have our prayer service which we conclude with the partaking of the Holy Communion. Every Friday from 6.30 to 7.30 p.m. all the youth gather in Bethesda room upstairs for around the altar youth Bible study. A big thank you to the daughters of the king who met here yesterday for prayers. The Lord bless you. This coming Saturday, the Royal Diamonds will be meeting right here in the sanctuary from 8 in the morning. The Daughters of Faith monthly meeting will be held on Sunday the 7th of April right here in the sanctuary after the second service. Ladies, come prepared for a special time engaging with God and with other sisters. On Sunday the 7th of April, we will have child dedication right here in the sanctuary during both services. Parents with children who have not yet been dedicated are requested to register the names of the children at the park with the ushers. The Sunday School Department invites all children who are between the ages of 5 and 12 to a Kids Fun Day organized by the Nairobi region. This will be on the 13th of April at Ngong Fields. Charges are only 200 shillings per child and is inclusive of lunch and transport. The meeting point will be here at the House of Bread at 7 a.m. Parents, please pack drinking water and snacks for the children. For more information, please contact teacher Christine on 0727 989 967. Ladies in the house, are you ready? The National Daughters of Faith Conference is just around the corner. From the 23rd to the 27th of April, all roads will be leading to Kabarak University in Nakuru. Conference charges are 5,000 shillings per person. Please prepare yourselves for a great time in the presence of God. Landmark Baptist Theological Seminary is a college for current and future spiritual leaders with campuses right here in our premises, offering diploma, certificate, degree, master's and PhD in theology, Christian counseling, religious education and music. Did you know you could study certificate in Bible and theology once a month with an opportunity to graduate in the United States? Yes, it's here at only 1,500 shillings per month, Landmark Theological Seminary, which is right within our premises here at KPCU, is offering this incredible opportunity. For more information, contact 0731-842-123. In the course of the week, please visit our social media platforms, that is Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and YouTube for encouraging messages and to keep in touch with all the church's activities. That's all we had for you this week from the House of Bread Studios. Have a super week and may you walk under open heavens wherever you go in Jesus' name. God bless you. Let's appreciate the media team. Thank you. You're doing a good job as well. Uh, just to put some emphasis on the next Sunday, uh, we shall be having child dedication. So if your child or your child was born and has never been dedicated, we've got an opportunity to accumulate this coming Sunday for child dedication. Receive greetings. I think I gave you earlier or I did not. But receive greetings from Bishop and Mom Joyce. Uh, they will be with us. They shall be with us, which is definite. Shall or will? Shall. They shall be with us. Next Sunday, they will be here, even as we do the child education. Continue praying for them, and as, we, as they also pray, pray for us. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Uh, without much ado, that's about it, I guess. I'll ask you to stand up humbly, and then we shall say the benediction, even as we go 
to our homes. So like I said, we don't, we don't say, sir, yes, sir, we just say, amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You give respect where? Respect is due. So we shall do it uh, from Numbers, the priestly blessing, Numbers 6, verse 24, and then we shall say amen to that. May the Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you. Amen. And may the Lord be gracious to you. Amen. May he lift up his countenance upon you. Amen. And may he give you peace amen. in the course of the week, amen. in the course of this new month, amen. at your place of work, amen. in your business, amen. in everything you do, amen. in Jesus' mighty name. Now look for, your uh, look for a neighbor and tell, give them your hand and tell them, and now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you now and forevermore. Amen. Go in peace. Thank you very much. We apologize for the few minutes about uh, Tumechelewa, but it shall not be so. Again, our visitors, please come in front. Uh, come and meet our hospitality team. And... Uh, those who want to meet our pastors, please, you can also come in front. We shall be able to talk to you for a few minutes. Thank you. Have a lovely week. And God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.